Fishing the Hawkesbury River at the moment, and it's an incredible system. Big Mulloway and Big Mulloway take big baits. Look at that. Huge big tailor. Three gamma catsus. 50 pound fluorocarbon. I've got an 80 pound braided uh, Stella here. As you can see, a nice little 8,000 saltwater Stella. And uh, these are the sort of baits that really fire up the big dew. And so we're going to put three out. We've got a couple of squid as well. Um, live baits. We've got the whole works. But when you're fishing for uh, fishing for Mulloway, the size of the bait just doesn't matter because they are huge fish. As you can see, that is a, a monster bait. We're just going to hurdle that out to the side there. Lots of boats out on the water today. Boats everywhere. So we've decided to to fish another little spot and hopefully we'll have some success. All right, let's see if I can get this out there. All right, here we go. <laughs> like an explosion. As you can see, we've got the 80 pound line on there. And sometimes when you're fishing around tough and rough, territory you really do need that heavy duty stuff to to land those big fish beautiful setup i'll slide in over here in the rod holder out in the 650 yellowfin and this is a great boat got all the works including the big cutting board as you can see inside we've got a pile of gear in there got our bait in the esky and uh big 200 Evan Rood up the back. I'm fishing with Glenn today, and Glenn's done a lot of fishing out here on the Hawkesbury Avenue, mate. We've had a go, mate. <laughs> had a go over the years. We was out here a couple of weeks ago and got a couple of nice tews, nothing humongous, but a couple of nice tews. So. But big ones turn up along this they stretch, don't they? Mate. they Absolutely, at some stage through the day. We've got uh, the Minn Kota working overtime at the moment, right up the front. Look at it, back and forth. And it's on uh, spot lock, so it's getting the signal from the satellite to just keep this yellowfin boat right here, right on the prime spot. If I was going to anchor up with our, we've got an anchor, electric winch, we'd have to go probably another 30 odd meters in that direction, depending on the wind to keep us here. And if the wind picks up a little and blows us off, we could be 30 or 40 meters from the spot. But here with the Minn Kota, we're directly on the spot. And it's powered by these batteries. I'll give you a quick squeeze. It's a great system I've got going here. So underneath here, these are the deep cycles. We've got three of them. 36 volt system. And this is the charger as well. So if I want to charge her up to 240, I can just plug that straight in and that'll charge up the three batteries for the Minn Kota to run. But in all the trips I've been able to do so far, and we're talking a lot of trips, I haven't needed to use that at all because what I installed when I got the boat, I installed this inverter under here. So we've got this incredible inverter here. So what happens every time the 200 G2 E-Tech fires up, it puts a charge into those three batteries. So continually charging whenever we're running from spot to spot. That means a massive payday, massive for us because we never have to anchor anymore, except use the spot lock on the Minn Kota. The batteries are always primed, always pumped up. And we go out, I think I did six weeks in a row without using our anchor once, but anchoring up all the time. Now, for instance, if we happen to be mm, thinking, oh, maybe we need another 15 meters that way, we just turn the spot lock off, move over, put it back on, and we're 15 meters away in a matter of moments instead of having to go through that whole anchoring process and probably being blown off that course as well. So we're in a pretty uh, pretty handy old boat, this one. The two Garmin sounders as well. We've got the beautiful GPS map, the XSV. This is a big 10-incher. And up the top, we've got a 7. And what we do, as you can see, they're on different settings at the moment. 
the one up the tops on the down view and the one on the bottom we've got a lovely mapping system and you can see our mark just sitting there on the left that red blob that's really where we want to be casting to so that's where we are and then on the right hand side you can see the depth of water 12 meters a little bit of rubble on the bottom but not much plenty back there so we're fishing up to a reef so really important to uh, to utilize everything you possibly can to put the fishing in your favor and that goes from the good motor great hull fantastic electronics terrific Minn Kota, and best of all the Minn Kota is powered by the century batteries the deep cycle but we've also got two deep cycle marine pro batteries to keep the electronics and the big g2 happening at the back all right it's really a bit of a, a wait and see now got a couple of lines out here well i hope you enjoyed my fishing video if you did make sure you like it and comment below if you're new to this channel subscribe and tell a friend and make sure you press the notification bell so you're notified of our next video